Hey guys, this is Smack4TW. First of all, I want to apologize if today's video is sound, sound kind of monotone or just weird. I haven't slept, so yeah, just bear with me if, I, if I'm kind of sound more boring than usual. But anyway, I want to show you how to put an auto refresh bot for Warcraft 3 on your machine. This is, uh, this is from a blog I wrote. I'm just going to read it off here to make sure I don't miss a step. I don't want to have to redo the video because I missed one step. Um, so the blog's website is customize OSX, customize OSX .blogspot com, And this is just the link to this particular article. But it's a really small blog. I started it, and then I decided making stuff on YouTube would be better. So I started putting the videos from YouTube on there. But I'll still try to keep up the writing part. It's, it's just it's easier to follow written stuff for some people than videos. So, you know, if that's you, knock yourself out. So anyway... If you don't know what an auto refresh bot for Warcraft 3 is, you don't play Warcraft 3 and you don't need it, so just skip the video. If not, it's an easy way to do it. Windows users have it, so why not Mac, right? So first of all, you're going to need X11 installed. It runs inside X11, so easiest way most computers have it installed, easiest way to check it is you open up Spotlight and you type in X11. And it'll pop up, it looks like that. If not, insert the DVD that came with your Mac. and install it, it's on there. So then you want to download this bot, I have the link here in the article, so just go to the article and get it from there. Um, you're going to scroll down, it's actually a Windows app, and you're going to download it. Click here to download, just download that. All right. And I, I have it on my desktop ready to download it beforehand. It's a very small file. Now you also need the mono framework. This is a 96 meg file, just as soon as you click on this link, it'll start downloading, see? I'm going to cancel it. I went ahead and downloaded it already because now I'm on a much faster internet connection. I'm on, on the FRATS internet connection in, in the university, but it's still, you know, it'll take maybe two minutes to download 100 megs and I don't want to have to wait. So, yeah. Anyway, next up is to install the mono framework. I already did that. All you're going to do is double click here. and Like, you're going to disk image mounted, double click here, and just follow instructions, install it. You know, it's not difficult. Then you can just eject that. And then you're going to extract the Warcraft file you downloaded, the the bot, and if you open it, you'll find this file. This is what you want. This is the Windows application. So, now you're going to open up Terminal and type this. Just follow what I'm doing. Um, CP means copy. So, let's open up Terminal. I haven't set to white. I haven't really customized my computer at all, but anyway. We're going to type CP. Wait, let me move this so you can see it. Put it up here. Okay. C. I'll zoom in, actually. Sorry, I'm kind of I'm being kind of slow and kind of stupid, but, you know. Uh. Okay. CP space, and now you're going to drag the other file in, which is here. Just drag it in, zoom in again, space, and then you're going to type in dot auto ref dot exe, right? Hit enter, and that is all. Now you're going to open up, yeah, you can quit terminal now, quit this. Open up X11, right? Let me zoom out all the way there. So you open up X11. That minute is the first time I'm loading it, so it might be a little slow. Sorry about that. It's just, just I reinstall everything. Anyway, you go to applications, and I forgot what you do here. One second. All right, you choose customize. Makes sense. Um, here in customize, you're gonna click add item, and now we're gonna mess with this item, right? So you're just gonna double click it, and you can name it whatever you want. So I just name it auto refresh. Like, like I wrote here, you can name it whatever you want. This is just easier for me to remember. And, you know, hit enter. Um, okay, so, no, wait, sorry, that was command. So, so auto refresh goes here. Auto ref refresh. And under command, we're going to put mono space dot auto ref. Dot exe, which is the exact same thing we typed in up here, if you remember that. I'm sorry, I'm kind of slow, I'm just like I told you, I'm falling asleep, so I'm just kind of reading it off my blog. 
Um, so then you just gotta hit done, right? And you should be all set. Let's try it out. So when you want to run this, you gotta go here and oh, click on. Okay, so I'll close X11 quick. So you open X11, and you're gonna go to Applications, Auto Refresh, and it'll open. See that? That's the auto refresh bar. Right now it says error connection refused because Warcraft isn't open. So let's open Warcraft 3. The Frozen Throne is what I'm using, but let's try it. I'll minimize that. Okay. So let's connect to Battle Net. Sorry, I don't really have any maps on this, but. But that'll work. I'll just host them on again. So let's go to Custom Game. I'm gonna set this down to five seconds here. Create game. Um, I'll call it here. I'll make it a bigger map so it makes more sense. And I'll call it just anything. So I'm gonna hit create game. I know nobody's gonna join because it's a stupid name, but anyway. Now it see it's auto refreshing. And that's the bot. It's a really easy way to do it. Let me quit this. Um, I hope it helps you out. To quit this, when you quit it, it won't close. You have to quit X11, and then it'll quit. So anyway, I hope it helps you out. Let me know what you think. If there's any modifications you'd like to do to it, just let me know. Thanks for watching.